Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of European Zaz 4 playing as Bamanis. Last episode we conquered a whole bunch of shit, to put it lightly. So uh, this episode we were continuing conquering shit and having no band power. But that's alright because we are gaining a whole buttload of land. So I think no one is complaining that much. Hopefully. Well, let's improve relations with Delhi once again. Then at least he won't join a coalition against us once we conquer more stuff. Mongolia, Anatolia and Egypt. Okay, cool. Damn, that's one ugly ass Kandar. I like the Mamluks. He did lose a province apparently, but he gained some shitty other provinces. That's a really weird shape. And Ardalan is free. From... What's it? Uh, the Kerkuyuni horde over here. Two base production in Bidar and Texmal Fighter Prestige. A new kind of metal handicraft is developed in the sh shops of Bidar. This new style of spread has spread quickly among the Persian arts since the city has become famous export of our capital. Cool. How good is ours? No, it's pretty pretty good. Our next one. Our next ruler. Wait, only 60 New York expansion against him. Oh, he's kind of the exception because he just spawned, maybe. Probably. But yeah, I don't really care about him over here because he is a vassal of the Timurids. So his aggressive expansion doesn't matter. He can join the coalition. Okay, he got destroyed. He is at war with him, right? A war, a war for independence. Yes, he is. But if he pieces out, I think we'll will uh, take over the war. Of he will take over the war from him. And yeah, maybe we won't take that second province for now. Just focus on this one. He does that. Or Ursa also has a claim on that. So we'll just have to occupy it until he's ready to give up his war. So yeah, we're 10,000 manpower in the hole again. You want more claims? Oh yeah, on uh, we have all the claims we can get. Which is on these provinces over here. No issue, no problem at all. But yeah, we almost need our entire army to just occupy this province over here. But at this point, with this much conquest over here, especially in this corner of the world over here, we've, I think, gained enough strength and broken free from the grip of the Vigianagar's allies in the north. He broke broke off with all of them. He has no allies left. So not that much time will uh, it will won't take that much time before we are able to attack him over there in the south. That we will finish him off. But yeah let's move over here and try to attack uh Noir over here. Why not? Oh, he took one province. Cool. Yeah, let's take uh, some of these, maybe. Or maybe we want to wait a little bit more longer. Maybe we want to wait a little bit longer. Yeah, I think the Cindy rebels are going to spawn. But we may not want that to happen right now. So we may want to buy that down a little bit. Only a little bit. How bad is our war exhaustion right now? Not that bad. Our tech is also pretty good. We're not falling behind in any way. So yeah, by now our two allies are probably willing to join. Probably. Yeah, let's finish till this month. Decades and Guardians. National Rest, minus one stability, cost plus ten. Lose one stability. That's alright, I guess. Make an insult against Mawar. Oh no. 
improved relations with Delhi. Sure. Well, let's declare war for Mandu. Border friction. Let's lose some diplo points. Gain some core provinces again. Let's try to occupy Mansu and then we're probably then we are probably done with conquering for a little bit at least. We're still gaining more provinces. Let's decrease the War exhaustion a little bit. Well, Bengal took another chunk of land from these Southeast Asians over here. Call for peace with probably him, yeah. Yeah, let's take this one province. Some ducats, war wraps. That's it. Another province. So I might as well go claim this last province over here. He's kind of annoyed with us, but not too much. We took his claim. So he has every right to be, but uh, it's not my problem. Let's send him some money, just because I don't want him to still join the coalition. Economic action, send gift. How much do you want? Yeah, we can can lose that kind of money. It's not that big a big a deal. Conquest against Andra, yeah, we lost it. No biggie. Malabar's new rifle, okay. Also don't really care. But yeah, next step might be to sit on our ass, ass for a while. We gain some manpower. Well about I say that but probably that won't be the case we'll probably go to war very soon again Malabar no don't want to uh... oh wait we have another war going whoops almost forgot oh yeah we can finish him off Pijanaga can join a coalition but at this point it doesn't really matter Oh, we can't court till he is done with his with this war. Vijayanagar Nagar. Well, there is going to be a military coalition a little bit. But at least we have our vessels and stuff. But yeah, maybe we don't want to take this land white right now. Maybe. Just maybe. But we can also keep the war going for a while. I mean, there's no real, uh, real urge to finish it right off right away. I think we will consolidate our troops for a while and uh, go build some mercenaries, honestly. Because this way it's going to be bad. Continue like this. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Well, another tech level. There we go. We're losing a bit of money, only a little bit. Let let's let's walk over here. Let's attack him. It's probably safe to attack him from over there. Yeah, it is. We also tacked up, so I think we are stronger than the rebels at the moment. But le at least this conserves some manpower. And relying on mercenaries every once in a while isn't that bad. It's that, uh, that big a problem, big a deal. But yeah, let's improve relations with these small guys, why not? Well, it's probably never gonna end up well with those two, but might as well try at least. And Andreas has an uh, the, uh, allied Madurai, which is also our 
friend. Yeah, he is. And he was vassalized by Vijayanagar. Okay. Utsang is getting destroyed. Oh no, he's not. He's getting attacked. Okay. Go to bed. I mean, when I formed Tibet once, it was pretty hard to do, because, well, starting offensive war is pretty hard to Tibet. Most of the time you get the most, the nation on the right here, he formed Tibet, I don't know what his name is. At least it wasn't Utsang. Mercenaries, eh? Local arrest plus eight. Damn. Cost. Where's this? Malwa. The country, you mean? Malwa? Where's this? this is Mawar. Country am I attacking? Mawar. Malwa. Mercenary. Where's Malwa? M A L O. M A L. Not Malawi, Malwa. No, except Malwa, then. Well, I have no idea because there's no province called Malwa. Malwa. And I'm not Malwa. Malwa doesn't exist anymore. Yeah, there's no Malwa. Sorry, game. Not happy to disappoint you, but uh, that is great. If we can attack Mon Mon Amandar, what's his name? Uh, Andra next war, and we can vassalize our friend over here, our former ally, which we were trying to protect all this time, and then we can feed him all this land with basically no cost at all. And meanwhile, we might improve relations with him over here. Did he also join a coalition? Yeah, let's improve with him too. While we're at it, well, I might as well attack him, right? He's the uh, same tech level as we are. No, he's one, one behind. So it probably will be pretty easy to destroy him. Yes, it is. So, well, uh, there you go, Moa. I cleaned up your rebel problem. You are welcome. So let's occupy these last provinces. Yeah, but we maybe just uh, want to chill in this war for a little bit. There's no reason to make Delhi any more pissed than he already is. Don't want him to join a coalition. And the rest of the people don't care. And he won't join a coalition, I think. No, he won't. Eight, he's eight points off. Vijayanagar is, well, almost, in a few years, he's not able to join a coalition anymore. Well, I don't know if he's, he's, if he's able, able to leave right away when he's not low enough, but, uh... Blood Air dies. We claim, no. A mosque. Sure, I'm only like 30 or something, right? Oh, I'm 52 meanwhile. Whoops. 20 years later. Yeah, the game progresses quite rapidly but uh, we are expanding quite rapidly also so I think we never increased our military attack until till now up till now at least we don't have negative manpower hmm yeah we might want to get this I have claims on all this land though, down here. These five. We must be wary once uh, our truce with him ends. We must immediately attack him. Six, six years. Because I don't want him to join a coalition. He's a nice target. Well, not attack. 
we are keeping up quite uh, quite well. Genoa is five. Oh, we uh, surpassed Genoa with tech. Oh, almost not admin tech, but it's also because of our great leader. Gotta be sad. But did we get no? I don't know where we got that plus eight revolters for mercenaries. Didn't quite get that, catch that uh, message. Our trader died. It's, oh, it's our great trader. Our cheap one, level three. Too bad. We're even making a profit with all those mercenaries. So uh, we might want to keep them a little bit. Why not? A little bit more expensive, but... Uh, we don't have any manpower, so okay. Yeah, let's just keep this name. This is gonna be one of those less jokey games. No Donald Trumps as leader and no Obama. Oh, well, we might want to improve relations with our allies a little bit because we don't want to completely piss them off. Well, we maxed out with Gwalior over here. It's plus 31. So he might want to leave the coalition sometime soon. Yeah, can we let's improve relations with our vassal so we can integrate him sometime soon? Do you have any claims on anyone? Yeah, he has on Bengal. Do I really care about Bengal? Yeah, India is looking pretty well. Pretty well. I have a giant power block, belly and dangle, bang. Delhi and Bengal. Bad Delhi and Bengal have a nice power block in the north. Nice uh, alliance dominating the north. And I have this central northern alliance, which is probably by far the strongest one in the in the subcontinent. But yeah, I only I'm uh, pretty uh, pretty annoyed by the Mughals. Oh, well, Dundar already left the coalition. How nice of him. And only Nagaro would uh, leave the coalition, it would be even more fantastic. So we probably want to Gwalior to also leave the coalition, then uh, we'll immediately... Oh, Nagaro left the coalition. Well, apparently uh, I'm a little bit too strong for him now. Let's go claim him. Coward. Call for peace. Threat expansion. Okay, but yeah, we might want to just end this war right about now. Let's see, have we have claims on uh, most stuff over here? Which now we're getting in dangerous coalition territory, but I don't really give uh, give a fuck. So he's still in a coalition. Yes, he is. Can't really compensate for it anymore. Will be our rival. Delhi might as well be our rival. Yes, no. Do we need really need the rival game? Can't you just let us off the hook? Well, the increased corn cost is pretty pretty annoying. But yeah, we're looking uh, pretty big, pretty nice. Does he want to join a coalition now? Yes, he would. So we still have a little bit of truce. Who wants more land? Dilemma again. There you go. Well, so much for that plan. So we might as well rival him back. So screw you, Delhi. Let's build some more troops. We're still having mercenaries, but we might as well look strong. No coalition is gonna stop me at this point. War with Dundar, okay. Right, attack him with Delhi. Yeah, he will join in. Let's claim Gwalior over here. But yeah, basically now we're just waiting for us to gain regain our manpower, which is going pretty well with all these mercenaries at the moment. Popular religion, Lemma gained loyalty and influence, tolerance of the two faith missionary strength. 
well, are they dangerously inf uh, influential? No need, well, not really. 21 influence. So we might as well give him a little bit. Get more bonuses. Who wants to rise up? Mawari peasants, uh, rebels, separatists. Words. So there we go. But I think this will be the end of the episode today, so I hope to see you back next time, and have a nice day everyone, and goodbye.